This is Apostle Charlie Reddish, and we are preparing to feast at the table of the Lord. There's a good meal on this table for you this morning, and we are going to feast at God's table. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So every word that we hear, it will give us life and that more abundantly. Increase our most holy faith and help us to walk strong, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. So let's get ready to get into the word of the Lord for this day. And I'm going to be reading Genesis chapters 1 through 5 today. Yeah, so Invite your relatives, your friends, your family, whatever. Share it on whatever platforms that you're on. You're welcome to do so. Invite others to share it, uh, to tune in as well. God bless you and a good, 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 great, well-to-do day to you today. All right. I'm going to be starting reading at Genesis chapter 1, commencing at verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament, from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights. The greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also, and God set them in the firmament of heaven to give light upon the earth, and to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life, and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. And God created great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and, after, and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let fowl multiply in the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beasts of the earth after his kind. And it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, 
and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree and the which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed to you it shall be for me and to every beast of the earth and to every fowl of the air and to everything that creepeth upon the earth wherein there is life i have given every green herb for meat and it was so and god saw everything that he had made and behold it was very good and the evening and the morning were the sixth day genesis chapter 2 commencing at verse 1 Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the coast of them. And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. But there went up a mist from the earth, and watered the whole face of the ground. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food, a tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And the river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from thence it was parted and became into four heads. The name of the first is Pizan. That is it which compasses the whole land of Hivala, where there is gold. And the gold of that land is good. There is bedellium and the ox stone. And the name of the second river is Gahan. The same is it that compasses the whole land of Ethiopia. And the name of the third river is Hedekal. That is it which goeth toward the east of Assyria. And the fourth river is Euphrates. And the Lord God took the man put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it, for in the day that thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helpmate for him. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field, and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all cattle and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found an helpmate for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And he slept and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. In the rib which the Lord God had taken from the man, made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. The book of Genesis, chapter 3, commencing at verse 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than the, any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye should not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat up the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye should not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it 
lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, oh, you, you shall not surely die. For God knoweth that in the day you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took up the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard that voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Has thou eaten of the tree? Where have I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguided me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field, and upon thy belly shalt thou go, and thus shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over you. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten up the tree of which I commanded thee, saying thou should not eat of it. Curse is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shall thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat herb of the field. In the sweat of thy faith shall thou eat bread to thy return into the ground. For out of it was thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shall thou return. And Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Unto Adam also unto his wife did the Lord make coats of skins and clothed them. And the Lord said, uh, said, Behold, the man has become as one of us, to know good and evil. Now lest he put forth his hand, and take also of the tree of life, and eat, and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden, to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out the man, and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubims, and a flaming sword which turned everywhere, to keep the way of the tree of life. Genesis chapter 4, commencing at verse 1. And Adam knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain and said, I've gotten a man from the Lord. And she again bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought up the fruit of the ground and offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought up the first one of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering, but unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his conscience fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thy conscience fallen? If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass, when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, 
which has opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. When thou tillest the ground, it should not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond should thou be in the earth. Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, that hath driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that every one that findeth me should slay me. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slays Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod, on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch. And he built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son Enoch. And unto Enoch was born Arad, and Arad begot Mahajiel, and Mahajiel begot Methuselah, and Methuselah begot Lamech. And Lamech took unto him two wives. The name of the one was Adah, and the name of the other was Zillah. And Adah bare Jabal. He was the father of such as dwell in tents and of such as have cattle. And his brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all such as handle the harp and organ. And Zillah, she also bare Tubal Cain, an instructor of every artificer in brass and iron. And the sister of Tubal Cain was Namah. And Lamech said unto his wives, Ada and Zillah, Hear my voice, you wives of Lamech. Hearken unto my speech. For I have slain a man to my wounding, and a young man to my hurt. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly limit seventy and sevenfold. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son and called his name Seth. For God, she said, has appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. And to Seth, to him also was born a son, and he called his name Enos. Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord. The book of Genesis, chapter 5, and verse 1. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man in the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them, and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. And Adam lived a hundred and thirty years and begot a son in his own likeness after his image and called his name Seth. And the days of Adam after he begot Seth were 800 years when he begot sons and daughters. And all the days that Adam lived were 930 years and he died. And Seth lived 105 years and begot Enos. And Seth lived after he begot Enos 807 years and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Seth were 912 years, and he died. And Enos lived 90 years, and begot Canaan. And Enos lived after he begot Canaan, 815 years, and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Enos were 905 years, and he died. And Canaan lived 70 years, and begot Mahaliah. And Canaan lived after he begot Mahaliah. 840 years and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Canaan were 910 years and he died. And Mahaliah lived 65 years and begot Jared. And Mahaliah lived after he begot Jared 830 years and he had sons and daughters. And all the days of Mahaliah were 895 years and he died. And Jared lived in 162 years and begot Enoch. And Jared lived after he begot Enoch 800 years and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Jared were 962 years and he died. And Enoch lived 65 years and begot Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begot Methuselah 300 years and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch for 365 years. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. And Methuselah lived 
and 187 years and begot Lamech. And Methuselah lived after he begot Lamech 780 and two years and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Methuselah were 969 years and he died. And Lamech lived 180 and two years and he begot a son and called his name Noah saying this same shall comfort us concerning our work and toil of our hands because of the ground which the Lord has cursed. And Lamech lived after he begot Noah 595 years and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Lamech were 770 and seven years and he died. And Noah was 500 years old and begot Noah begot Shem, Ham, and Jephthah. Thus I read the book of Genesis chapter 1 through 5. I pray that something was heard in your spirit that will strengthen you, encourage you, and motivate you to help you to continue a strong walk with God. And faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. May this word that you've heard today get in your spirit and encourage you and strengthen you and build up your most holy faith. Thank you, each and one, every one of you for tuning in this morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. So until the next time, I want you to know that Jesus loves you. I love you. And may God richly bless you as my prayers. And don't you ever forget this. Don't call it the way you see it. Call it the way you want it to be. God bless. <music>